Alright All right, guys, uh, welcome to our first unboxing video. This is Wes with Peak Media Design. Now, one of my great passions in life is our RPGs, pen and paper RPGs, like Dungeons and Dragons, any of the werewolf games, any of the vampire games, uh, GURPS, uh, Rifts, anything that uses little, either little miniatures, grid lines, graph paper, dice, polyhedral dice mainly, uh, I will play. Um, you know, it's a great way to use your imagination. You don't have to spend a ton of money, which is always awesome. And, uh, you know, it's a great way to interact with people of a like mind or even sometimes not a like mind and get to know someone. Um, they're highly underrated. Uh, they're becoming more popular these days, but, uh, you know what? Let's get back to the point of the video. This is a unboxing of RPG crate. Now this is a loot crate type item. Um, you know, excuse the mess on the desk. Their website is rpgcrate.com. This is their second month box. Uh, unfortunately I missed out on the, uh, the first, first month. Now, um, there's lots of great stuff inside. I already peeked a little bit so that the video wouldn't be completely uh, boring or useless. Uh, but <clears throat> here we go. All right. So first off, this was packaged a little bit better, but let me go ahead and get to it. You know what? I'm just going to take some of this out because I think I'd rather start with... This little bit right here. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, my little tripod. All right. So first off, we're going to get a Dragon Logo t-shirt. Now this is, welcome to RPG Crate. Snap, share, and win. All right. We're going to get a Dragon Logo t-shirt. Uh, survey says, gamers want t-shirts. I know I wanted a t-shirt. Let's look at this awesome t-shirt here. It's got a sweet dragon on it. Hold in a crate, and it even says RPG Crate on it, which I think is kind of cool because then it, you know, it's not just like I got some random bargain bin t shirt and I got the RPG Crate t shirt. Uh, and I can always use more nerdy t shirts. Next, this is something you get um, just by subscribing to their newsletter, RPG Crate's newsletter, Tales from the Bloody Bucket. Um, they keep adding stuff to it each each couple of iterations as far as I know. <clears throat> but let's, um, in this box, excuse me, in this box we're going to get three exclusive adventure cards, Supply Run, Mother's Shadow, A Simple Task, and now what these are are, um, you know, a couple hour long um, role-playing encounters for, for people to run that, you know, don't want to run a full campaign, which is uh, several of these, you know, string to get, strung together. And then we have two exclusive NPC cards, Ashling the Hunter and Bloody Bucket Ghost. Now I'm assuming these are either going to be used in conjunction with the adventure cards, or they could be just standalone NPCs to use in any adventure. Now, uh, next we have um, a uh, the Full Moon Ransom, which they're gonna they're giving you a download link, and also you're getting a hardback. Uh, version of. Now, all of these are OSR and 5th edition um, written up for. Uh, that means they're they're compatible with those gaming systems. However, most most gaming most of these can be converted because they're pretty they're pretty general, but they have great uh, you know role playing ideas. Next, we're going to look at the uh, Chessex Premium dice. They're going to be green and yellow. Uh, they're the Gemini ones. Then there's going to be an effing cool mini and by uh, Cobalt Press, uh, the Dara Cool Warrior. I've looked at it; it's already awesome. Now, what they're explaining here, the OSR relics, is in the first box they gave away some awesome '80s magazine magazines in you know limited quantities. Uh, sad, sadly, I didn't get these, but the stat blocks and the adventures are basically homages to that to that era of gaming, which is kind of awesome. Next, we're going to have Brian Rathborn's Inherited Danger. This is some of the downloadable content you're going to get uh, in RPG Crate. 
Brian Rathborn's Inherited Danger, book two of the Godsland series, and the audiobook, ebook, and maps. Then we have Battle Bards, premier tabletop audio and tools. Your world deserves to be heard. Uh, so a bunch of cool music that you can use to spice up any role playing. Um, they, they do have some free stuff on there, so go check them out anyways if you didn't get this loot crate. Otherwise, you'll have a code that gives you some uh, free songs. Well, not free because you paid for them, but some, some premium content. And then last but certainly not least, something that I'm very excited for, the Dragon Foam Pick and Pluck Foam Packing Material. Now, um, RPG Crate has done this awesome thing where they are packaging all of their materials with this pick and pull foam. See how it's perforated like that? Now the idea behind that is to pick out a sizable rectangle to um, give yourself packing room for miniatures. And this will keep your, your paint jobs nice and uh, unchipped. So, and, and you know, you get a couple months of that and you'll have plenty of packing for most miniatures, unless you play some sort of miniature war game, and in which case, you probably this crate's probably not what you're looking for, anyways. All right, <clears throat> or it could be, you know, what do I know? So first off, I'd like to show off the uh, awesome. This is the Full Moon Ransom by Tom Wilson uh, Adventure Guide. This it's exclusive, you know, for for RPG crate. This specific one. Um, you know, it's a several multi-page adventure. This one's a little bit longer than the uh, than the adventure cards that we'll get to. Um, you know, that one, this one will probably last, you know, six six hours or may, or maybe two sessions or so, maybe like eight hours. But uh, it really depends on your D, on your GM and stuff like that, your game master. Um, this is really awesome. This is the uh, Effin Cool Miniatures presents Cobalt Press. Bestiary, a collection of creatures from Ho Tome of Beasts and Midgard. This is the Darakul Warrior. He's uh, some sort of skeleton with a large mace or spear or spear mace. Uh, maybe that's a spear. It's a crazy looking spear. Anyways, looking forward to painting him up, and uh, you'll probably see that on Miniature Monday at some point. Next, we have these awesome chess X dice. Uh, the green and yellow <coughs> with silver numbering. Uh, you know, these are pretty standard. Uh, a polyhedral 7 set, so that means you're getting a D4, a D6, a D8, two D10s, so one percentile and one regular, a D12, and a D20. Uh, I believe that's 7. I think that they counted that out right. <laughs> um, you know, pretty standard chess exercise, but that's, you know... A, a, Eight, eight, nine, nine dollar set of dice right there. You know, on top of the shirt, that's already probably thirty dollars, which you probably paid for this. And then you're getting a bunch of extra stuff on top of that, like the miniature and the gaming and the 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 music and all that good stuff. Next, we have this is one of our NPCs, the hunter named Ashling, and her dog Marlo, I believe. Yep, Marlo. Although he said it's a hunting dog and that looks like a lion. <laughs> Not that the art's bad, it's just a terrifying dog. I would never want to face that in combat. Next we have <clears throat> the ghost, which uh, is is said to be the bloody bucket ghost, which is sort of their ongoing thing. And then, yep, the ghost of the bloody bucket. We have cool little illustrations there. A hauntings uh, list on basically how what it'll do when it when it shows up and tips for inclusions. Next we have all three of these adventures. Again, these are like one to one to two hour adventures. Um, possibly more depending on how your GM stretches them out. We have a simple task, mother's shadow and supply run. Now these are both, you know, front and back, front color, back, black and white. Give you your maps, your encounters, all that good stuff. All right, I think I went over everything. It's pretty pretty packed. Um, oh, and uh, one thing I did forget, as I don't want to show you too much, is the RPG download codes. Um, 
you're going to roll initiative and lock your mind. Um, so that's, yeah, basically those are download codes for a, uh, a ebook and I, I'm not sure if it's an adventure or if it's, or if it's just a, a short story, either way, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, and then also the, uh, fantasy music, um, uh, by, uh, what was that battle bards? Yep. That, that's pretty awesome. The dice again, gorgeous. Uh, I never have too many polyhedral dice sets. Effing cool miniatures, the dark cool warrior, and of course the awesome shirt that is appropriately sized and cust and you know customized. You know it's not it's not some random shirt that they got you know a million of and they're just you know trying to get rid of all their surplus goods. Uh, I really do like this crate. I can't wait to get my next month's one. Um, you know it's like a little birthday present that you know people actually. <coughs> They, when they build these boxes, you can go one of two ways. You can either get bargain bin stuff that you use maybe 10% of, or you can go this direction where you end up paying a little bit more, but you get a better experience in my opinion. You get things that you're going to use. I'm going to use every single one of these things that is, comes in this box. Um, I might give away the dice just because green... And yellow isn't really my thing. They look a little too radioactive. But you know what? I might keep them. I might just have them as extra dice for people who forget theirs during game night. And again, that's the RPG Crate at RPGCrate.com. My name is Wes. Thanks for watching a uh, Peak Media Design unboxing. Hopefully we'll have more of these to come. Have a wonderful day.